Hi everyone, this is Halal Ahmed and you are watching Soft Coding. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can implement a Seek War in your Android application. So, open up your Android Studio and create a new project and go to go to activity main.xml and here we will just delete this text view from here. And now we need to add a Seek War. So, to add a Seek War, uh, you can add it by simply drag and drop and you have to search for seek bar and as you can see here We have two seek bar. So we will use the first one the simple one. So I will just drag and drop it here Okay, and now I will uh, add the constraint to all the four side of this seek bar And uh, I will change the ID to Sigbar and enter it. Okay, refactor. And now I will change the width to match pattern. Okay, so now we need to add a text view over here to track the progress of our Sigbar. So just drag our text view and drop it here and may uh, sorry add the constraint to right side and add the constraint to the bottom of c bar and we will give a margin of 16 db okay now we will go to the code and i will just change the 8 db margin from right to 16 okay now it looks good and here i need to change this to my tv okay my text view and here we need to change this to tools okay and uh, we need to change its visibility to invisible so it will be invisible for now and now we now we will go to the java file and here we need to initialize the seed bar and uh, text view so I will just name it sigma and text view and I will just name it my TV TV okay and now we need to initialize it by using their IDs so sigma is equal to find view by ID or dot ID sigma and for text view my TV is equal to find view by ID dot or dot ID dot my tv text view okay so now what we will do we will track the progress of our seek bar and we will change the text view according to that progress so we will show the live progress of our seek bar when the user interact or um, use the seek bar in uh, our android application so to change the progress or to track the progress so we will have to see type seek bar dot set on uh, set on progress sorry set progress okay change uh, on see what change listener and we will new on change listener <coughs> and here in this on progress change we will set the progress to our uh, text view so we will just use the uh, okay first of all we need to visible our text view because we set it to invisible so set visibility simply type visible and it will be visible when the progress is changed and here we will add the new progress to our text view dot set text okay set text so here we need to pass the integer uh, position sorry progress so here we will change it to progress yes so progress and we will add like this 100 and now we will go back to this and we will set the maximum value of our seed bar to 100 so you can do it like this enter max and 100 okay so the maximum value our seek bar is now 100 you can set it to 200 or 500 or 10 or 8 it depends on your requirements so now I will uh, run the application to check 
if it's work or not so I will just simply run the application from here and uh, now as you can see here we have our seek bar here and we don't have any progress here so when I change this so as you can see here our progress is changing so it is increasing we are increasing our seek bar and if we decrease it so it is decreasing and we will set it to zero okay now it's uh, it is a zero and the maximum value is 100 so we will go to the last and it is 100 by 100 so in this way you can use the seek bar in your android application and uh, if you want to track a progress or uh, you want to change the font color so you can use the seek bar in uh, and according to your requirements so if the user increase the value so you will increase the font size and if user decrease the value decrease the sigma so you can uh, decrease the font size okay and you can uh, store your font size uh, and your shared preferences for um, let uh, references okay so if you like this video please uh, share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so please do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss the latest notification of upcoming videos.